Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. Once again, the wind is howling outside the library, I guess because it's March. Are we going to do this the whole month? Ooh. I kind of hope not. Um, I'm Eliza and I'm here with Amber. And we have a really small box. We like to have slightly bigger boxes, but you know, it's just what came. And uh, so we, I think, have like six books and then we're going to do three audiobooks. Sounds like a plan. Um, first book is James Grippendo. Is that how you pronounce his name? 20. And it's a Jack Switek novel. Looks like a thrillery, maybe government something. Yeah. Active shooter on campus. Ooh. Tragedy. Hey. Prosecutors. So. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Mine is called Aftershocks, and it's a memoir by Nadia Owusu. Um, so she won the Whiting Award, and it's about um, a, a woman who spends her life moving between Europe, Africa, and New York. And um, she talks about uh, sort of... Um, she, I guess she has family secrets and then she sort of talks about the history of each country and sort of her racial and cultural identity. Sounds, it sounds good. Not nonfiction? Yeah, not memoir. So it's not okay. a novel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Memorial by Brian Washington. Uh, it's a plastic bag. Huh. Uh, as a flag, um, Japanese American chef and a black daycare teacher. They've been together for years. Um, he has to go back to Japan to visit family. Um, oh, they're both their men. Um, okay. I wonder where the title comes from. I, I don't know, but it's all about family and realizing yourself and um, huh. tr yeah. I can't remember, but I do feel like I saw a review for that that was was recommending it. Yeah. So I don't know, like a big relationship book, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes relationships are like it feels like they can't compete with like the blowing things up and running around, but like actually, <laughs> well, it looks like it's like a more modern relationship. Yeah. Book, so, <laughs> Icebound Shipwrecked at the Edge of the World with Andrea Pittsfer by Andrea Pittsfer and uh, ooh, Bone Chilling Tale. Oh, bone. Oh my gosh, and it's got a map inside, a really nice map and um, a survival tale uh, about a Dutch explorer and his crew of 16, I'm gonna say people, but I'm gonna assume they're all men. And they ventured farther north than any Europeans before ah, and lost their ship. That's, that's bad, you don't wanna lose your ship. So they have to spend the next year fighting off polar bears, hunger, and endless winter. That sounds rough. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah they quarantine <laughs> bad. At least we don't have to fight off polar bears. I know. Um, maybe soon, I mean, with ice ice yeah. melting oh. everywhere. Uh, so my last book is The Orphan Collector by Ellen Marie Wiseman. It's, it has a creepy title, but it doesn't look like such a creepy book. Um, uh, it's the stories of two different women set amid one of history's deadliest pandemics in 1918. Uh, yeah, so historic drama. I feel like the orphan collector could be read two ways. Like it could be like nice, like someone who takes care of orphans or it could be super creepy. Collector, when you put the word collector next to something, it's not great. Yeah. This is called the X talk. It's got a fun sort of romance light light romance novel type cover and it's about um two radio dj type people who work on public radio and they end up 
having to pretend to be exes in order to co-host a radio show because they both really want the radio show. But then I imagine when you pretend to be in a relationship with someone, if you're in a romance novel, like things do end up, happen. it just happens. Yeah, yeah, you end up together, right? Um, so do you want to do audiobooks? Mm -hmm. Okay. So first audiobook is Dolly Parton Storyteller. And I know that we just got this actual book. It's huge. Uh, it looks really interesting. If you like Dolly is, it read by, is it read by her? She has a really nice voice. Like even talking, she has a nice yes. voice. <laughs> like singing, obviously, but even talking. <laughs> um, I mean, I want to say, obviously, of course it would be, but I am having trouble finding. Um, I think it is. Probably. I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll look into it and we'll put like a little comment or something in the video. Cause I'd like to know that. Yeah. Lisa Gardner before she disappeared. And we also have this book. Um, Lisa Gardner is like a popular mystery thriller writer. The last one I have, uh, you wait oh. until the end. He audio Pattersoned me. He uh, snuck in. <laughs> the Russian. Uh, it's also co-written by James O'Born. I'm pretty certain we have the book already. Yeah. That's it. That's, That's it. all we have for today. Bye, guys.